This strange looking figure appears in the illustration to Book of the Dead spell 17. It is a long and complex spell mentioning many gods, some of them very obscure. The currently accepted view among Egyptologists is that the figure represents Mejed, whose name means the smiter. In the text of the spell we read, I know the name of that smiter among them, who belongs to the house of Osiris, who shoots with his eye yet is unseen. The fact that only his eyes are shown while the rest of him, except his feet, is covered seems to fit this description. Unfortunately, nothing else is known about this god. John Taylor, Exhibit Curator, British Museum. Okay, make it stop please, this is getting too real. You seriously cannot make this stuff up. I might be a little late to this story, but yes, if you have been on the internet lately, this shape should likely mean, well, something to you. It originates from the popular online game Among Us, where players control crewmates, squat humanoids with no arms, and wearing multicolored hazmat or astronaut suits. These characters have quickly turned into a meme and widespread cultural hysteria on social media. The short of the matter is that people keep on spotting the crewmate shape in real life and seemingly ordinary environments. In trash cans, fire alarms, TV shows, political cartoons, in advertisements, in the split-second transitional frames of animations, in the shape of viruses, and even in ancient wall art and prehistoric figurines. I will admit that I even had a moment like this while walking down the street, seeing a set of empty newspaper boxes and then laughing to myself. They are always there, stalking us, watching us. Well, probably not. Some of these have turned out to be clever photoshops, to capitalize on the popularity of the meme. This one, for instance, turned out to be an altered version of the 1,250-year-old Egyptian papyrus of Ani. The rabies virus really doesn't look like this. But the overwhelming majority of these images are seemingly just coincidences. Trash cans and fire alarms were probably not designed with the intent to resemble video game characters. These designs were created this way for underlining reasons of practicality, not to mention their resemblance is superficial at best. And yet, our brains appear to unconsciously recognize the Among Us character in a myriad of unrelated objects we encounter in our daily lives, and have never made these connections before. Why is this? Well, it should first be pointed out that phenomena such as this is nothing new to our species. It's been happening for thousands of years. Not with video game characters, but with cultural icons. Jesus was the original Among Us. People have spotted and still spot his face and body everywhere. From Cheetos, to burnt toast, to shadows. Dental x-rays, cooking utensils, trees, rocks, dog butts, clouds, tortillas, and even entire nebulas. The Virgin Mary has been seen in chocolate bars and the grease stains of pizzas. It's been happening for such a long time that there's even a name for it in Christianity, Archeo Poietos, or Made Without Hand, where icons of religious figures were reportedly made solely through supernatural means and without human intervention. These objects are often claimed to be the work of miracles, and many receive widespread attention, if not outright worship. Famously, a 10-year-old grilled cheese sandwich resembling the Virgin Mary was sold for $28,000 on eBay. My personal favorite is the Nun Bun, a cinnamon roll resembling Mother Teresa, which was stolen from its protective display in 2005 and remains missing to this day. Spotting religious figures in natural and mundane objects isn't a uniquely Christian practice. It is a long-standing and common practice found in many cultures. In Hinduism, images of deities can purportedly manifest themselves through entirely natural means. There is a tree in Singapore whose calluses seemingly look like the monkey god Hanuman, and in 2007 it drew large crowds of pious pilgrims. The shells of Heikegani, a species of Japanese crab, are said to resemble the faces of angry samurai, whose spirits have possessed them, hence their nickname Samurai Crabs. Giant enemy crab. Now, as far as we can tell, just like the Among Us pictures, there was no intention behind these images. They are just our human minds interpreting meaning where there is none, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. Mere tricks of light, shadow, and perspective. In 1976, an eerie human face was spotted on Mars, only for it to be later demonstrated to be the product of several factors. For example, the specific placement of the satellite, the quality of the image, and the time of day. More recent and far more detailed images caused the formation to lose much of its face-like quality. The ridges on the shells of samurai crabs are in truth the product of underlying muscle attachments that result in a pattern that vaguely resembles an angry human face. 
and the fossil evidence reveals that the backs of these crabs look like this long before humans even evolved faces for it to resemble. As we can see, the human brain is an expert at spotting faces, eyes, and silhouettes, and this appears to be a product of our evolution. Pattern recognition is a very helpful skill for a brain to evolve, even if it does its job a little too well in some circumstances. Primates, including humans, are able to very quickly identify snakes and their immediate environment. Chimpanzees, in fact, display distinct fear and maybe even hatred of snakes. When they encounter one in the wild, their first instinct is to jump back and sound the alarm. And they do this even when the snake is dead, or a toy, or just a picture of a snake in a book. Some scientists have put forth the snake detection hypothesis to explain this instinctual behavior. Some snakes are venomous and could easily kill an individual if they are accidentally stepped on or touched. As a result, the primate brain evolved to rapidly detect the snake shape in their environment, and quickly react if that shape were detected in the underbrush. You can never be overly cautious. Being able to detect a face or the eyes of a hungry predator through the dense foliage of a jungle might just save your life. But, as we can see, our brains can have a pretty elastic and lenient definition of a face by emphasizing certain details and ignoring others, resulting in pareidolia. I think this is again a product of our evolution. If the face your brain identifies ends up being the calluses of a tree, or a trick of the shadows, what of it? No harm done. Like snake detection, it is better to overreact in a false alarm than underreact when it actually counts. As we go about our day, our brains are constantly searching for possible threats in our environments. One of them being the faces of other humans, who could possibly be enemies wanting to do us harm. Capuchin monkeys, for example, have the ability to identify members of their own group from complete strangers when given a set of pictures, much in the same way we can spot our own family members and friends in a photograph. This trait probably benefited creatures living in a social environment where the quick identification of friends and possible foes was valuable. However, pareidolia does appear to be influenced by culture, as well as instinct. Our brains can be trained to see certain images and make certain interpretations. Most people might see a face in this grilled cheese, but whose face you see is very likely determined by your set of cultural influences. Some people see the Virgin Mary, but other people see Madonna or Marilyn Monroe. Culture is often based around a set of collectively shared symbols that are associated with specific meanings. In Western culture, a guy with a beard and long hair is typically linked with this guy. Perhaps the reason people see the face of Jesus so much in daily life is because his face is one of the most ubiquitous and pervasive images in popular culture. But for other cultures, a bearded man fitting this description has a vastly different meaning. You might see Jesus here, but an ancient Greek might have seen Zeus, or the stereotypical hallmarks of a classical philosopher. And this even works for more abstract images. For most people, this symbol is instantly recognizable and its purpose clearly understood, even without its distinctive lettering. However, the meaning we associate with its shape is not completely universal throughout the world. You might see stop, but a person from another country might just see a red octagon. When this image was taken of one of Saturn's moons, Mimas, a lot of nerds saw it and thought, That's no moon. It's a space station. But someone who maybe hadn't seen a particular 1977 science fiction movie might not have gotten the same interpretation. Perhaps most relevant to our discussion is this symbol. The cross has a very significant meaning to many people around the world, despite it being a relatively simple shape, two lines intersecting one another. Like the face of Jesus, it has been spotted numerous times in entirely natural phenomena, from images of black holes to the biological structure of proteins, instances that have been claimed to be evidence of divine intervention, a godly signature if you will. Ignoring the fact that a historical Jesus most likely would have been crucified using a cross that resembled an uppercase T, the Roman standard at the time, and not the lowercase T, what this fails to acknowledge is that because the cross is such a simplistic shape, we should of course expect it to occur in nature. When a shape or pattern is so basic, it becomes remarkably easy to see it in the mundane. The infamous webcomic Loss has been reduced to a sequence of horizontal and vertical lines, and as a result, people have since spotted it in everyday phenomena. And I think this is exactly what happened with our little character. The Among Us meme craze has largely broken the symbol down to its base components. Two legs, a body tinted in either primary or secondary colors, no arms, and a single window-like spot or hole in the center. Our collective brains reduce their already pretty simplified shape so much that we see them everywhere. Many of the popular examples don't even match all the criteria of this base template, but we forgive them for it when they meet not all, but a few of the criteria. 
And much like Jesus, the ubiquity of the character, made popular by streamers and Let's Players, made it a pretty universally shared and familiar symbol among the culture of the internet. Put them together, mass hysteria. You often see what you want to see, or at least what your culture has trained and influenced your brain to see. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Trailer Explainer, and I will see you next time, hopefully for a longer installment.